Tonight, the remnants of Hurricane Ian making their way up the eastern seaboard, the damage and destruction spanning across several states. Ian was a Category 1 when it stormed onto the South Carolina coast. Video here from North Myrtle Beach showing a pier collapsing. Winds reached 85 miles an hour as flooding surrounded communities. In Florida, as many as 22 people have died. The governor says crews have gone to more than 3,000 homes to check on people who may be trapped. Power is slowly returning in Florida. Still 1.6 million homes and businesses are still in the dark, and restoration will take days, if not longer. CBS 2's Chris Hoffman has the latest tonight from Fort Myers. Christine and Maurice, this is just one of dozens of boats that was thrown ashore by Hurricane Ian. This is more than 100 yards in from the water, just showing the strength of that storm surge. Oh, man, it's washing it away. Hurricane Ian destroyed this pier in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, as the storm came ashore as a Category 1 on Friday. Ian brought winds of 85 miles per hour and a powerful storm surge, but Governor Henry McMaster says it was not as bad as expected. Uh, a lot of prayers have been answered, but I would ask people don't quit yet because it, it's, it's still coming. Unfortunately, it was worse than expected here in Florida, where thousands of people had beloved possessions and homes damaged or destroyed. Those older homes uh, that just aren't as strong built, they got washed into the sea. Governor Ron awesome DeSantis that. says so he was happy to see down. many stores reopening so people can begin to recover. Residents in Cape Coral waited for hours outside a Home Depot. Everybody's tired. Everybody's stressed. Matthew Wood is taking it one day at a time as he starts to reconstruct his world. We'll rebuild everything and everything will get back to somewhat normal. But It'll be a new normal again. Rescue crews have knocked on more than 3,000 homes as they search for survivors, according to DeSantis. In Fort Myers, a man was pulled from the wreckage a day after the storm passed through. The U.S. Coast Guard says it has saved more than 150 people and 50 pets. Though some residents on hard hit Sanibel Island are choosing to stay despite the conditions. The lone bridge to the island was destroyed in the storm. Officials haven't said how quickly it can be rebuilt. In Tampa Bay, cargo ships are starting to arrive and depart. No cruise ships yet. The earliest one expected is tomorrow. Christina and Maurice. Chris Hoffman reporting for us.